going on guys so this is kind of what I got going on today um, an idea I've been kicking around for a little while is <clears throat> taking the spare a pillar dash pad or a pillar pad sorry um, and making a three three port uh, gauge pod on it now I know that they sell these for different years of cars and they're basically made out of plastic or fiberglass or whatever but I have a spare one of these um, don't know whatever happened to the other one don't think I ever had it um, don't really need it so it's just kind of sitting around so I'll <clears throat> so I'm gonna take it and some of this um, exhaust pipe here along with the uh, little gauge bezel that comes with all three pack gauges that you buy split them and probably wind up let's see here weld them individually like this at an angle um, coming off the back with that that pipe there so wind up having holes in this and whatnot but that's kind of the whole idea it'll probably go in the project 69 um, unless I decide to put a full full roll cage in it, which I more than likely will later. But if I decide I want it in there, I'll keep it in there. Um, just weld around it. Or I'll make a whole different <clears throat> different gauge pod set up and weld it directly to the, the roll cage and a pillar. So that's one project I got going on that I'm going to make a little portable... Uh, metalworking welding table that I can take with me that's got you know a way to bend metal and beat metal and, and yada 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 something I can take with me every time I have to take off the welders go somewhere do uh, sheet metal fabrication work for people around here so uh, anyway I'll uh, I'll keep you guys updated on it all right guys this is about where I'm at right now um, perfect height and you sit here in the GTO. I mean, it's just perfect. I don't even know if I'm going to add a third one, even though I've already kind of cut that slot out for it. Um, um, looking at it, I think Big ass titties. <laughs> two would be perfect for the cluster here or the uh, gauge pods. Um, so I'm probably going to just take the piece I cut out of that, weld it back in, smooth it out. Uh, I'm not going to put this in the Judge, this is for the Project 69 GTO. Um, I'm just using the Judge to model it since everything's in here to hold it in right now. And I already had that uh, A-pillar pad out, so um, keep working on this and get it all welded and smoothed out. And we'll uh, be going there. Yep. Well, I decided that I only wanted two pods on this, so I... Uh, took the pieces I cut out of this and went ahead and welded it back in I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world, it kinda looks like fucking Frankenstein but uh... <clears throat> get it all ground down and smoothed out I just decided that yeah two pods would be be enough and that third one would be a little too high if I put that bottom one down a little further I probably could have got a third one in there but uh taking it any lower it would have interfered with the dash pad so uh, I'm not too worried about it if I decide I want to cut it out again again later and add another one I will but as of right now I think those two are are good enough so I'm gonna grind this down and do a little work on it all right so got that all welded up ground down so good to go <clears throat> all right so it's gotten uh, a little too windy outside to be doing any welding or grinding it was up in the 60s today. I think it was like 65 there for a little while. Um, then the wind started picking up. and Welding just became kind of a joke. Kept blowing out my arc. and Just <clears throat> no place to really get out of the wind. So uh, I kind of knocked it off for the day. But this right here so far is what I got done on the gauge pods. Still got quite a bit of grinding and a little bit more welding to do. But 
you guys can kind of see how it's going. I got this all all welded back in and ground down so it's smooth again. Um, like I said earlier, I just kind of decided that I'd roll with two gauge pods for now. And if I want another one, I'll cut it back out and put a third one in later. Um, we've all we've all seen gauge pods for sale and <clears throat> put in several different vehicles. I make them for the, the 69s and the 70s. And pretty much all A-body cars, they all had the same uh, A-pillar pad. Um, which the originals were... Ooh, excuse me. All the... Uh, all metal back then. New replacement ones are foam, rubber, whatever they are. Um, and uh, the gauge pods that you buy usually come in one to two for, you know, Chevelles and Pontiacs for anything A body. And they're made out of molded plastic or fiberglass or something, which just cheap, easy, easy buy. Which I didn't really care for. I wanted something fabricated, do something different. Um, I've never actually seen one made out of original A pillar pad and you know fabricated and welded. So I figured that would be my project for the day. Um, depending on the weather tomorrow, I'll go ahead and finish it up. Uh, the way it's kind of looking, we're supposed to have. cooler weather again for the next couple days and then warm weather next you know here close to the weekend so I'll uh, I'll be able to get quite a few things done this week um, but you know fabricating things like that for me is uh, kind of golden especially what I want to do with the project 69 um, that car is not worth restoring there's nothing original in it. A good majority of it's rot, rotted out, as you guys have probably seen from a couple of the videos and photos and things from other videos that I put up. Um, Drivetrain was gone. It's just it's just done. It's not worth you know doing anything hardcore with. You know I paid five hundred dollars for the body and the frame and and everything that was on it. So it's just gonna be. Kind of a rat, a rat muscle, a runner, something to do, play with. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have seen the uh, the '68 uh, Maximus Charger. Uh, if you, any of you've seen Fast Seven, then you would have seen it at the very end credits. Uh, the '68 that Dom was driving. Um, that car to me is fucking awesome. That's the type of fabrication work that I want to do. That's the that's the style uh, work that I'm interested in, which is kind of what I started doing to a degree on the Chevelle. Um, this one's going to give me something to actually play around with and just take it to whatever level I want to. But uh, if you guys haven't really looked at that car, get on Google, Google it, find some photos of it. Check out the interior work that they did with that. The whole car is in bare metal. It's, you know, it's just straight ground down, uh, buffed out or whatever. It, and they extended the fenders and the doors and, you know, everything. And just kind of made a whole new car almost. But it visually it looks like a real 68, which it is. But you look at it compared to actual factory 68 and you'll start noticing the flare and everything that they put in it pop um, that's just you know fucking awesome so this is kind of the start of what I'm gonna be doing that's kind of an idea that you guys can take for the 69 project 69 not the judge but, you know um, so th this is the start and then I'm gonna start doing something with the dash here later on um, I'm thinking I'm going to kind of give it a aircraft cockpit feel. Probably something along the lines of a helicopter, helicopter cockpit, like an old Vietnam Huey helicopter. Um, probably won't even bother to put a standard ignition in it, push button, switches, and I'll probably put them over here over the overhead 
and uh, gauge it all out and everything like that. So it's it's going to be pretty neat. I'm thinking uh, flat black, but leaving two carousel red stripes down the middle of the car and leaving the ram air on it and, of course, putting the hood tack on it. And, you know, it'd be kind of a mix between something Mad Max-ish and Punisher GTO. So that, that's kind of the idea for it. It's not going to be anything original. It's not going to be anything uh, restored. It's just going to be, you know, put together as cheaply as possible, but with as much fabrication work as possible as well. So anyway, guys, that's that's uh, that's what I got going on right now. I'll have another video up on this, this gauge pod when it's done. So uh, keep watching. Reaper out.